Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for telling my husband not to be upset that our daughter wants her uncle to walk her down the aisle? I 46 got pregnant with my daughter Sarah, 26, when I was in college. My parents and my then boyfriend's parents pushed us to marry, which we did. My late husband unfortunately passed away a week after our daughter's second birthday because of a heart complication that we did not even know he had. It was a very hard time for me, and I went through a very bad depression. Four years later, I met my now husband Robert, a 46, on a blind date set up by a friend. He was one of my best friend's cousins. We hit it off and got married a year later. Even when we were dating, he was very hands-on with my daughter, and it did not take too long for my daughter to call him Papa. Even until we got married, and when I got pregnant two years into the marriage and gave birth to twins, a 17-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl, he still acted like a father to Sarah. She was even included in my husband's family reunions and the cousin group photo shoot that my in-laws organize every Christmas. Things took a bit of a turn when Sarah turned 18. She started calling him by his first name, and both Robert and I were taken aback by the change of attitude she was displaying. I asked Robert what that was about, but he only shrugged, not knowing the reason. I thought things would go back to normal, but she has been consistent in calling him by his first name, so I asked her if we could talk. Robert asked if he could join, to which Sarah agreed. To make it short, my daughter overheard my husband talking about a Father's Day trip to his friend who owns a hostel. His friend asked him if he had forgotten to include Sarah since my husband had only asked him to prepare three bedrooms. My husband replied that he planned this trip for his real children only. It wouldn't make sense if Sarah was on the trip since he wasn't her real father. This made Sarah feel betrayed and hurt because she saw him as her real dad even if she knew he was her stepdad. My husband tried to explain to her that though he loved her as a father, his love for the twins was different since they were his real children. I wanted to just shut him up because he was overusing the word real. But Sarah told us to leave her room. What made that day even more depressing was that this day was her last week with us before she left the country for college. Since then, every time she comes home, Sarah acts like nothing happened but continues to call Robert by his first name. Robert didn't want to add fuel to the fire and just tolerated it. And now, a few years after that, my daughter has announced her engagement to her longtime boyfriend. We were very happy for her as they have been dating since they were still college freshmen. Two weeks before their wedding, we were wondering who would be walking Sarah down the aisle. I assumed it would be Robert since I thought we had moved past that incident, but no. My daughter scoffed at me when I told her about Robert walking her down the aisle. She said, I thought it was obvious that Uncle Greg, my late husband's brother, would be the one to do that. Besides, I'm not his real daughter. It wouldn't make sense if he walked me down the aisle. I did not talk back. I apologized for my ignorance and told her that I'd speak with Robert about it since he also assumed he'd be the one to walk her down the aisle. When I told him what Sarah said, he was pissed. But I politely reminded him of the incident years ago, which made him even more upset. He said that it was a long time ago and that Sarah should move on. I, who was offended for my daughter, told him that he shouldn't be upset since he doesn't see her as his real child anyway. He then got teary-eyed and told me to not speak to him. He still attended Sarah's wedding but looked visibly down. We still aren't on good terms and have been pretending in front of relatives. My daughter does not know about this, and I want to keep it that way. Nevertheless, it's been a week since my daughter's wedding, and Robert is still upset. He only talks to me about the twins and household stuff, but beyond that he keeps everything to himself. I feel really bad and think he is acting this way because of me. So, without being said, am I the asshole? Update. Hi guys. I'm Sarah. This is not my account. It's my cousin's bio father's side. I apologize for any grammar mistakes and spelling errors. My cousin sent me this post while my husband and I were packing some stuff for our honeymoon earlier, and she thought it was my mom. My cousin is one of my go-to people, so she knows every single drama in my life. We are really tight. I was skeptical at first since I would never have thought of my mother using Reddit. It's just too random. Until I read the overheard part of the post, it just brought back very good memories, hee <laughs> hee. On top of that, I noticed that the fake names used are based on the first letter of our real names. It confirmed that this was my mom. I just want to say that I don't appreciate that some of you are calling my mom an a-hole. But I also don't think it's your fault since mom left a lot of details. After I left for college in the States, a lot of things happened. My cousin, the owner of this account, was the one filling me up with updates. So mom and Robert had a huge fight regarding me. Plus, Robert always came home late and drunk from the cockpit. The twins, well, they were shielded from the drama because they were children. They kind of separated for about a year. My mom went to live with her parents. I was always in contact with mom, and she always asked for my whereabouts. You know, normal mom stuff. She also kind of filled me in about her separation from Robert. 
I actually felt guilty because I knew it was because of me. Their biggest fight was when Uncle Greg I will be using the fake names mom, used to not add confusion, confronted Robert about the incident because when I arrived at my university dorm, I called him sobbing and told him about everything. Uncle Greg is the typical cool single uncle and has always been protective of us cousins, so when he learned about it, he went into full Papa Bear mode for me. Robert was kind of mad that he was getting into our business. Mom told Robert that Uncle Greg actually, my cousins and I call him Dada because he's really like our second parent, also has a say in this since he's family, but Robert wasn't happy about it. So yeah, that insinuated a big argument that almost led to Robert and Uncle Greg having a fistfight. They were already throwing unkind words at each other, and everyone was just emotional. When I learned about what happened, as I mentioned, I felt guilty and bad. So, I sent Robert an email since he doesn't use Messenger. In the email, I told him that he should apologize to mom and make things right for the twins. I did not receive any response from him, but eventually, he and mom made up after a year. I was quite happy because I really didn't want to ruin my mom's marriage. I love my mom so much, and I'd do anything for her. You might be wondering why my mom did not initiate a divorce. Well, first of all, divorce is still illegal in my country. Second, annulment is extremely expensive, and even if we were kind of well off, my mom's a physical therapist and a teacher at a university, while Robert used to be a public accountant up until I was 16 and owns a commercial space, their pockets would have hurt and annulment takes a lot of time to process. Today I reached out to them, and I told them that I wanted a proper conversation because this has been long overdue. I think we all need some closure. I do want to note that I have moved on, but forgive me. I don't think so. It pisses me off that Robert thinks I can just move on, forgive, and forget. It's hard to think that this was the man I used to call Papa. What's even more sad is that I still see him as my Papa. The pain I felt that day, and why I started calling him by his first name. I even wanted to major in accountancy because of him. He was my role model. There were a lot of moments where I just wanted to go back to that day and pretend I did not hear anything and let it slide, then maybe I'd still call him Papa. But I would be an idiot for thinking that because no matter what, the damage has already been done. So yeah, I am contemplating whether I should update you guys on our talk tomorrow. I have texted my mom not to look over the comments here because some of you are just brutal. Sorry, I just don't want my mom to feel bad. P.S. I want to add that both my mom and Robert paid for my college tuition. I did not get any loans or anything. Student loans are uncommon in our country. Parents are always the ones paying. I'm actually grateful that Robert helped pay, but that still doesn't remove the pain. My husband has been really patient and supportive. Little trivia, we were classmates in high school, I was the talkative girl in class, you know, social butterfly, and he was one of those goofballs and we actually fought a lot back then, and we eventually developed feelings for each other throughout freshman year. We were surprised that we went to the university. We were both catching up on each other's lives and yeah, the rest was history. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.